anything else on the Breeders' Cup? By the way, Saturday night, I know you love your bit of flat racing, Calvin, so we probably won't start with you. But uh, Nicola, there's lots of Ladbrook specials on the Breeders' Cup and, of course, enable the uh, star turn. Yeah, listen, Europe, I think, are sending over their strongest team ever. The fact that it's now 9-1 to one that Europe have six or more winners is amazing. Um, and... Yeah, there's a lot of solid favourites coming from Team Europe. We spoke to Frankie Tutori, another Ladbrokes ambassador, and he described it as a real Ryder Cup feel to it. Um, so the ones that have been backed, despite a poor draw, Gustav Klimt has been very well backed for the mile, is now 11-1 to from 16-1. to Mendelssohn as well has been trimmed into 9-1 to for the Breeders' Cup Classic. Roaring Line is probably the weakest uh, out of the European ones. But if you look at the Breeders' Cup Classic, I think it's very hard to, acceler uh, to argue against accelerators in there at four to one and that's top price uh with ladbrooks but look at all the group ones he's he's one he's just he's a contender for horse of the year over there good stuff brian anything for you on uh breeders cup saturday night the main well main i fucked up when i saw 11 to 1 gustav klimt i'd say that is gone at this stage i think he's probably half that um i'd be really fancying him now coming back up to a mile and the likelihood of soft ground <laughs> that his only win is the 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 the, I'm stuttering here. The only win he had this season was in the... the Leprosine race. The yes, Guinea's yeah. the Guinea's trial. trial sorry, the yes. The imaging, I think, yeah. And that was on very, very heavy ground, almost unraceable ground. He hasn't really progressed this season as we expected. He was a short price for the Guinea's a new market. But he has been kind of slowly creeping back into form. He was unlucky in France the last day. Yeah. I think he's probably a really good chance in this race. But an honorary mention as well for Princess Yaisa, obviously purchased out of that... Uh, uh, the Dundalk Nursery off a of market 76 now I wouldn't be bringing myself to back her in the Philly and Mare but Gavin Cromwell going to the British Cup isn't that some story yeah. you know, we're, we're, so I think we're all yeah. Gavin Cromwell fan club members here so oh, it's fair yeah. to say well, that's a lovely story anything for you on British Cup night I Gavin? think it's a punter's nightmare for example in Sergei Prokofiev's race there's 16 in it just wonderful there's 16 in it Anthony Van Dyke 16 they're going to slightly miss the break and they're yeah. going to be held up and it's mm. going to be a nightmare you have two choices. Either have no better back in Abel and that's it. Okay. <laughs> that's don't, fair enough. That's don't fair go enough. drinking him back in America. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like you. Think. No.